Father, you said it was like white man. You're the nation that Edom, according to the Holy Bible, right beside it. So from black Latinos and Native Americans, you're the Israelites the Bible speaks of. Okay? And all you that go back to these people on this side, according to the lineage, lineage of your father, man, and his father. Okay? Again, you out here another weekend, letting you people know the truth of the scriptures, okay? Because you come out here, and these people, they stand on these corners, they come out here and call on themselves, they're about the scriptures, but they're not breaking the scriptures down to you, okay? They're not warning you of the perils that's about to happen, that's about to come here, which is the judgment of the most high, who the one, the world isn't he called God, and the world isn't he called Jesus, according to the scriptures, according to the Holy Bible. The Lord's name is Yahweh, and his son's name is Yahweh Shai, all right? And again, these churches, these, uh, these so-called uh, other uh, Israelite groups outside of GMS, okay, that, that's not telling you the truth about what's about to happen, okay? Again, the one you call, the one you call God, the one you didn't call Jesus, Yahweh Shah, guess what? He's about to judge this earth. He's about to judge this earth, okay? And not only is he about to judge the nations outside of Israel, but he's also about to judge Israel, man. Two-thirds of Israel is about to catch the same judgment as these so-called, uh, as the other nations, all right? One of the major, one of the major prophecies that's on, that's happening right now, but that's about to be proliferated, meaning that's about to be pushed mandatory, is the hard part of Egypt. James, your Jay-Z's and your Beyonce's, all you so-called superstars, you, you, you so-called 
people are idolized, guess what? Very soon you're gonna see them pushing this, man. Because again, the elite banking family, i.e. the Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, they gonna collect this dollar, man. It's already in preparation, man. They've already been preparing for, uh, uh, for a new currency, man. And the reason why they're bringing this currency is, why is this so that they control the people? How can they control you? They can shut off the chip, okay? They can kill you with the chip if you buck up against a citizen, and you have your, your so-called insiders bringing this up, like uh, Aaron, uh, Aaron Russo before he died, okay? This RFID shit is destroyed, man. But you people, you don't believe in that. All you believe is in Benny. You don't even hear the word. You ready to stop by a group of individuals claiming to believe in those scriptures, all they tell you is hello, man. Smiling in your face, jumping up and down. They're not telling you the truth of the Bible. See, it's the difference between the men of the Lord and the people of the world. They're not bringing those scriptures out. They're not warning the people of the public calamity. They're not telling you about martial law. They're not telling you about the judgment in the most high. They're not telling you about the RFID chip. They're not telling you about the... the uh, You know what this 
the radio frequency identification device. See, look, hey, hey, do you want to know? No? Hey, that's why you niggas gonna die out here, man. That's why the world's gonna kill two thirds of its own people, man. Two thirds of Israel, you talk about black, Latino, and Native Americans, guess what? You don't wanna take this shit, and you don't wanna be Treaty of Rome? Look it up. We want to. 
Go to your smartphone, your iPad, your computer, and just type in the three year rule. And it'll tell you how and where that was start. There are nothing but a bunch of European nations, not even so called European nations. This is called, this is uh, the Treaty of Rome. All right, let me show you this picture of these, these devils real quick. This is the Treaty of Rome. Make sure, hold on, sorry. Yep, this is the, this is the, uh, I'm not sure if brothers can see. I'm not sure if brothers can see. Give me a minute. Right, which is these, these Edomites, these devils right here, these devils, it's a table full of devils. And these nations, they came together. It's not, it's not a joke, okay? That's how you want to say it. You want to say it, you laugh it now. There ain't going to be no room on your face. Anyway, back to the treaty of, it says the treaty established the European economic community. And this is what the EE, I mean the EU was called, prior to being called the EU, all right? It says type, founded, founding treaty. 25th of March, 1957. And it was effective 1 January, 1958. And it said the parties uh, that, that came together with this was Belgium, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, oh, uh, right, it was Belgium, all right? It said uh, Belgium, France, Italy, Luxembourg, and the Netherlands, and West Germany. One, two, three, four, five, six, okay? Okay, and it says languages, French, Italian, Dutch, original version, all right? It says the Treaty of Rome, officially the treaty establishing the European Economic Community, or the TEEC, is an international agreement that led to the founding of the European Economic Community. It was signed 25th March, 1957, by Belgium, France, Italy, Luxembourg, the Netherlands, and West Germany, and came into force one night, uh, uh, the 1st of January, 1958. The TEC proposed a progressive reduction of custom duties and establishments of a customs union and proposed to create a single market for goods, labor, services, and capital across the EEC, member states. It also proposed the creation of common transport and agriculture policies in the European Social Fund to establish the European Commission. It says the word economic again renamed in its current title the Treaty of the Function of the, of the European Union at the Treaty of Lisbon. Man. So guess what? what? The Treaty of Rome was the beginning of, uh, of the EU, man. With those member states, those same member states became NATO. And let's go look up NATO. Okay. Let's go look up NATO. It's part of this too, man. Where it said the uh, Treaty of Rome just involved uh, those six uh, European nations France, Italy, Belgium, the Netherlands, West Germany, okay? Uh, and some other, I forget the other one. But it's, uh, they also in, in, in the NATO, in NATO, okay? It says NATO. The North Atlantic Treaty Organization, okay, also called the North Atlantic Alliance. Is an interdisciplinary. The organization continues a system of collective defenses whereby its member states agree mutual defense in response to attack and attack by external parties. All right? And those external parties, they're talking about Russia and any other non NATO or, 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 or group or nation, right? Okay? It says the organization continues a system of collective defense whereby a member states agree to mutual defense in response to an attack by an external party. NATO's headquarters are located in Iran, Brussels, Belgium, where a Supreme Allied Commander also resides. 
Belgium is one of 28 member states across North America and Europe, the newest which is Albania and Croatia joined in 2009. An additional 22 countries participated in NATO's partnership for a peace program with 15 other countries involved. Go to the history real quick. The Treaty of Brussels signed in 17 March 1948 by Belgium, the Netherlands, listen to this, Belgium, the Netherlands, Luxembourg, France, and the United Kingdom. Yes, those people were. Those are the same signees of the Treaty of Rome. and our apostles and our elders who are great examples, man, right? So going on. Thank you. 
and then we spread it out the center, man. But you go up to the corner and ask that, guess what, man? They're not gonna tell you that. They're not gonna tell you that. They're not gonna tell you that. They're just gonna say, hello, hi. That's what they're gonna tell you. But they're not gonna tell you the truth in the scriptures, man. You know, but anyway, like you were saying, I was looking up how many uh, countries started NATO. Let's get it. Let's get this. This is a, it's a member country. At present, NATO has 28 members. In 1949, there were 12 founding members. It says of the alliance, Belgium, Canada, Denmark, France, Ireland, Luxembourg, and Luxembourg is in Germany, man. Okay. The Netherlands, Norway, Portugal, the United Kingdom, and the United States. So this is 12. Okay. Okay, it says uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. And countries, it says the other member countries are Greece, Turkey, Germany, Spain, Czech Republic, Hungary, right? Croatia. Here it is. And I stood upon the sand of the sea and saw 
the sand of the sea, and saw a beast rise up out of the sea, having seven heads and ten horns, and upon his horns ten crowns, which that's NATO, okay? And upon his head the name of Bess, and the beast which I saw was like unto a leopard, which that was a... Uh, Leopard, that first when that was uh, the whole body, the leopard, the body that was uh, the Greco Roman Empire. And it says, And the beast I saw was like unto a leopard, and his feet were like unto the bear, and a bear represents Russia. Now, Russia is not a part of this right here, but it's the ending of this man's society, which is divided anyway. Okay? So, represents who? Uh, the Persian Medial Empire too as well, okay? And it says, uh, his mouth was the mouth of a lion, and the dragon gave him power, which, and who was the dragon? We told you that's the Roman Empire, man. Because the Roman Empire was the one that had that, that, that huge military might. That was crushing everything, right? And his seat in a great authority, okay? So again, And that's who that beast represents today, which is NATO, which is, goes back to the Treaty of Rome, which goes back to the nation of, uh, to, actually to the Roman Empire, man. Which that's, that's all it is. We're living in nothing more than a modern day Rome, okay? So let me go back to the beast, all right? I'm sorry, let me go back to the mark of the beast. It's Revelation 13 and 16. And he calls the ball, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark. To receive a mark. Then he calls the ball both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond. That means if you be so called free, or you in the penitentiaries, guess what? To receive a mark in his right hand or forehead, okay? And that no man might buy or sell, say he that had the mark. And you don't buy yourself the Christianity. You don't buy yourself. And that no man might buy or sell, said he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. Here is with the him that have understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and the number of, is six hundred and three score. And like the apostle Ramah goes into, um, that last six is stigma, man. Or stigmata, man. Which, or, 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 this is sci-fi stigma, man. Stigma, man. Which is the name Mark. Okay, we're gonna get there. We're gonna get there. I mean, and it's obvious to those who have ears to hear and eyes to see, man.
It says stigma. It's a, It says stigma, from the Greek word, the same spelling meaning mark, puncture. It came into the English through the Latin to mean a mark burned into the skin or to signify disgrace. This is going to be a mark of disgrace. Because when you take this mark, you're going to be worshiping the beast. You're going to be worshiping Esau, man. You're going to be worshiping NATO, man. Esau, which is the mark, which is like Esau, which is the, so, which is the devil, the deceiver, the great deceiver, guess what? Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, the Oppenheimers. Guess what? Because these people trying to be, they're trying to be the most high. They're trying to be the most high by implementing this mark because they want permanent slaves, man. Okay? They want to be able to control you like the most high. Okay? They want to be able to control you. And you people, when you can't get your goods, when you can't get your food, feed your family, you're going to be the first to line up for this, man. You're going to be the first to line up to get that RFI piece to the market of peace. And we already told you, like we got to that, the guy that came up here earlier, guess what, man? And the third angel followed them, saying, with a loud voice, any man worship the beast and his image, and you worship the beast by getting it, because you don't have no faith in that time, in that time of great trouble. You're not going to have, you, you two thirds, you Jake's, you're not going to have faith. So you're going to readily take it because you want to eat, you want to live, you want to keep thriving in society. And the third angel followed them, saying, with a loud voice, any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark. In his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High, which is poured out without mixture. That wrath of the Most High, which is poured out without mixture. All right, let's use the uh, fire, okay? Guess what? You ain't supposed to take it at all. 
and their hands on their forehead. On their hands. Drop your forehead on their forehead on their hands. And they that love rain with the outside a thousand years. Okay? Rain with the outside for a thousand years. Okay? And that and that's the first revelation. It's ultimately gonna be all of Israel, but it's gonna start with the elect, man. Okay? And so that's what we're coming out here to do. Uh, in the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. It's to prophesy to you the truth, okay? Because you know what? Revelation is a book that's barely ever gone into in these churches, man. It's a book that you got, most people say they're even scared of reading, man. Okay? So you want to try to stick to the niceties, man. You want to uh, preach to the people smooth things, man. And you hear my, you so called Africans, that's what you want to say to the people. What your forefathers did to our people by selling us in the slave, man. And you hear my, man, they ain't got no, and you eat my, man. But the rest of the dead, oh, that's cool, that's the point right there. So let me give you what's going to be the punishment. We read it earlier, we're going to bring it out again. This is Zechariah 14 and 12. Zechariah 14 and 12. And this shall be the blood where the Lord will smite all the people that have fought against the Muslim. And Muslim is the people before the grave. The whole nation of Israel is Jerusalem, okay? Where people before we are placed. And all these nations, including two thirds of our people, have fought against us, man. So this is going to be the flood where the Lord will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet. Their eyes shall consume away in the holes of their tongue, in their holes, and their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. Okay? So that's what the only thing that can do something yep. like that. It's in your body, man. He brought it out earlier, man. The only thing that can destroy you while you're standing on your feet, like a bit, melt your skin, melt, um, do away with your tongue and its eyeballs in the sockets, you want to be the uh, nuclear missile, man. Okay? So this is what we wanted our people not to take, not to accept. Okay? And, and the people that we're wanting are the elect of our nation, man. That's the only people that's going to see salvation in the end, man. You eat them like, you're going to be destroyed here, man. We don't care if you're going to be destroyed here, man. We don't care. The Lord don't care, man. Okay? Malachi 4 and 1. For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as a oven. And all the proud, yea, all that do wickedly shall be stubborn. And the day that cometh shall burn them up, saith the Lord of hosts, that it shall leave them neither root nor branch. That's right, man. Which is that nuclear fire, man. That's the hell, that's the that's the lake of fire John saw in the, in the, in the heavens where he said, and I'm, I'm going to go to it. Let me get it real quick. Hey, that's the spirit. Revelation. Malachi 4 and 2. But unto, the, but unto you that fear, 
My name shall the son of righteousness arise with healing in his wings. That's right. Okay. That's right, because uh
again, man, because you know, you people don't know what time we're living in, man. We're living in some terrible times that's about to come, man. You know, right now, oh, let me get another one real quick, because like we said earlier, the beat, they're trying to play like they're the most high, man. The elite, they're trying to play like, like they, like they, like they're God. You know, they already posted themselves up as they the court. They got the most so-called Latinos, Mexicans, you Hispanics believing in the Lord of the white man. They, some of you are dying for this. So-called Negroes and Latinos, we believe that the Lord looks like an Edomite. After all the shit that you done been through, all the destruction, all the turmoil, all the things that you're about to go to, man. Some of you still can't let this image go, man. But you know, you can blame so-called white man for putting himself up as if he's the most high, man. Hey, this is 2 Thessalonians 2. We're gonna start at 1. Second Thessalonians 2 and 1. Now we beseech you, brother, by the coming of our Lord Yahweh Shai Mashiach, and by and by our gathering together unto him, that ye be not soon shaken in mind, but be troubled, neither in spirit. That's right, this is an exhortation to the brotherhood, man. You know. That ye be not soon shaken in mind, or be troubled, neither by spirit, nor by word, nor by letter, as from us, as that day of Yahweh Shai is at hand. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there be a falling away first. And Israel had to fall away. And that's why we're coming out here to bring our people the truth to their heritage, putting their skin back on the bones, man, and the sinews, man. And the Lord breathing that knowledge and wisdom, which is the breath of life, man, into us, man. Just like, just like the prophet Ezekiel did, man, okay? Because guess what? It was a falling away for us. Our people, we fell away from our heritage, man. These people on this line don't know who they are, even to the very best. All right? Let me get a scripture real quick. Jeremiah 17 and 7.
exalted himself. He painted, he painted this picture in the 1400s, okay? He did this. Yeah, yeah, according to the scripture, he is a so far. I do have something here, the truth, okay? But this is, this, this is what he did. This is what he did during the, the mid-1400s, man. That's the whole world in disbelief now, man. So when we come out and tell you that the so-called that the so-called white man is a devil, and that the one you think you call Jesus is God, the so-called black man, the white man we had, skin of bronze, eyes but as fire, you don't believe us. Even when we read it out the scriptures, right? Even when we even when we read it out the scriptures, they don't believe it. All right, he can, he can, he can, he can be anything other than black man, okay? Or that the angels are so-called black men with white woolly hair. I'm sorry, with dark, with big beard, with dark, dark hair, woolly hair, okay? But now it is. That's how we know the Lord's coming back in our lifetime, man. Who opposes all and exalts himself above all that is called the most high. And that's what Esau do. Okay? He said that the world was the, the universe was created out of big chaos, bomb, called uh, the big bang. Okay? The so-called white man uh, says that God doesn't exist. That's what he say, man. He said that man came out of man, from a Amoeba. God is a woman, but she's not, but he's not. The most high is a man. The scriptures say the Lord is a man of, a man of war. Okay? And Yahweh is his name. Okay? Who above all is above himself, that is called God, or that is worship. So that he, as a most high, stood up in the temple of the most high, showing himself that he is the most high. And we showed you the pictures, bro. This is proof right here, because no other nation has done this, man. Who, who did this, man? The so-called white man. The so-called white man has done this, man. So now, they made our job that much more harder to break this image down, man. Because this image is seared in the minds of all the people, man. This image of Chesare Borgia is seared in the minds of all the people. All you practicing the so-called white man, I'm mean, the more God looks like the so-called white man. Call a so-called black man, yo. And his own people, man. Primarily his sons, man. Which is the Lord's brothers, man. French. Okay? Right? Verse 2. Remember ye not. Remember ye not that when I was with you, I told you these things, man. Because we want to do these things that we're saying to you, man. The elect. Lord, when we're part of them, man, number, man, we, we, we knew this stuff, man. So the Lord's bringing it back to our remembrance, man. By way of the scriptures, man, and his holy prophets, man. This is Jude 1 and 5. I will therefore put you in remembrance, though ye once knew this, how that the Lord having saved the people out of the land of Egypt, afterward destroyed them that believe not, man. And so we don't get up in arms for those people that don't believe what we're saying, man. We don't get up in arms because Jake don't stop by. Because Jake don't want to listen. We don't, we don't, it, it don't bother us, man. Okay? Because y'all don't believe you're going to be destroyed. And you're unbelief, man. This is something else. Chapter 15, verse 1. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people, and who are the Lord's people? The Israelites, man. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people, the words of, the, of prophecy. And that's what we're speaking, the words of prophecy, things to come beforehand. The words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord. 
It calls them to be written in paper, which are the scriptures. It calls them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. Every word that's written in this scripture is true. It's not a make-believe book. It's not a fairy tale. And for you heathens that don't believe, you roll in your eyes, it doesn't matter. Because you're going into slavery. You East Indians and you so-called white people. Okay, you Babylonians, you Cushites, you Hamites, you're going into slavery. This word is not for you. It's for the Lord's people, the Israelites. Okay? The cause that to be written in paper, the Lord. but they are faithful and true. Fear not the imagination. That's right, we don't fear the imagination. You got the so-called white man, the elite, coming up with all these bruises and these things to entrap the men of the Lord. Ain't nobody scared of that shit. You got, you got our people imagining vain thoughts, because they do imagine to kill us, man. And everything that you think you're going to be judged for in that day, man. Fear not the imagination against you. Let not the incredulity of some trouble you that speak against thee, man. For the unfaithful shall die in unfaithful. That's what incredulity is, man. Unfaithfulness or unbelief, man. So you're going to die in your unbelief, man. Going back to the second Thessalonians. It's a lot of Jews. One in five, Jude, one in five. And back in the middle of that, saying, how that the Lord, having saved the people out of the land of Egypt, afterward destroyed them that believed not. Okay? Verse 6. And the angels, which kept not their first estate, but left their own habitation, he had reserved an everlasting change on the darkness unto the judgment of the great day. And that's, we are the angels that left our first estate, man. These bodies are the chains of darkness, man. And we're in these bodies until the Lord comes back with the chariot to save us and give us our new bodies, man, which are going to be those extraterrestrial bodies, man. Okay? Okay? Hey, the second Thessalonians, one and five. I'm sorry, two and five. Remember ye not, now, that when I was yet with you, I told you these things. And now ye know what withhold that he might be revealed in his time. We are in that time where the so-called white man is being revealed for the devil and the demon that he is, man. We're in that time, man. Okay? For the mystery of the iniquity doth already work, only he who let it will let until he be taken out of the way. And that he that's gonna let until he be taken out of the way is the most high, man, and his son. The how about some was shot? Okay? Now, Esau is about to, you're about to be taken out of the way, Esau. All you, the unbelieving of your kind, and all the unbelieving of Israel, man. All right? So lock it. Just check the time. Okay? Verse 8. And then, the, then shall that wicked be revealed. And we already revealing you who the wicked are, man, which is the so-called white man. The, the scriptures say, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not him, where and who is he, man? So, guess what? This is being revealed. All the elite banker families are so-called white people, man. This is the wicked. These are the people that run the earth, man. These are the people that's pushing that homosexual agenda. These are the people that's pushing that RFID chip agenda. These are the people that's uh, coming together saying they want to destroy 6.5 billion people off of the earth, man and leave the earth 500 million people in so-called preservation with, uh, and with nature, man, which is off, man, okay? And you elite, you know who you are, man. The Rothschilds know they're the Edomites, man, and they know we're the Israelites, man, okay? And then shall that wicked be rebelled, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth. And that's us, that's the truth. We're consuming you with the spirit of the, of the Lord's mouth, man, with the word. And shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Even him whose coming is at the working of Satan 
with all power and signs and lying wonder. With the Esau. Okay? And with all the seedfulness of unrighteousness and them that perish because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved. Until it's work, until it's lost. Okay? Women ruling over men. Okay? The so called white men, you're the nation of Egypt. You're not, you're not the nation of Israel. Place 
place that we're living in, the, the so-called United States of America, America, this place is full of unrighteousness, man. This place is full of lies and wickedness and robbery, man. And this is Nahum 3 and 1. Nahum 3 and 1. and the prey is a part of not. What is that bloody city? America is that bloody city. Who is that prey is a part of not? The so-called Negro and Latino, man. And what's so fucking funny? You saw? You. Hey, what's up, baby? I don't shake hands. Count. Hey, hey, you got to shake hands. I'm bumping. He's, 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 he's defiant against the bumping guy already. He's been here. That's right. You're right for the Negro. Yeah. And you know what your nationality is? What's your nationality? Okay, what's your nationality, Steve? I'm a human being. Hey, yeah, no, you eat them, man. You eat them, man. What's your nationality? Bro, I'm a human being. Okay, you drop it. What nation? What nation is it, right? I want, okay. my, I want my brothers to be here. So, so check it's this out. It's important. It's important to the scripture. These people right here, you see them, right? Later. Okay, so you already know the people. You know the people. Hosea, or how Hosea, which means deliverer, man, or savior. So you are Hebrew Israelite, according to 
scriptures and the doctrine and the Bible, okay? And so the Lord sent us out here to warn our people of all of this and also to bring back and put you in remembrance, okay? To bring back, to bring you back to your heritage. Because you were disinherited according to Jeremiah 17 and 5. It says, even thou thyself will discontinue from my heritage which I gave. And you will be sent to a land where you are. I'm just going to say this. I'm not going to say this. Yeah, I heard of that before, man. That's that, that's that five and six stuff. Yeah, so the Lord, the Lord ain't done with that, man. Yeah, so the Lord is done with Because, like, like, you know, the nation of God's earth, you believe that the man, the black man is God. And that's the woman in earth, right? Well, the scriptures say this. The song, uh, that's all. Because that was created. That came out of uh, 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 thinking of House of Crow, man, which was which said, uh, do as thou wilt, man. Yeah, and that ain't what you're supposed to do. You're not supposed to do as you will. Well, as you speak. So this is Psalm 86, Psalm 86, and, and 5. It's, I'll just go to the point. I have said ye are, this is verse 6, I have said ye are gods, and all of you are the children of the Most High. But you shall die like men, and fall like one of the princes. And that word God there is Amahayu, which means power. Because the word Israel goes back to the Hebrew word, Yashar Allah. He is a prince of the power. So we as princes are the power, okay? The supreme power is the one you call God. And his son name is Yahweh Shai, the one you call Jesus. And his children, his sons, his his son, his brothers, are the children of uh, Judah, Bishon, and Levi, on down in Issachar, okay? Not this so-called black man, all God's and herbs. Okay, we're the ones that this word is given to you. Why is it given to you? To heal you, man. To bring you back. Because before you walk up here, you, you kind of knew a little bit. Okay? I'm not going to take that to but I'm also going to give you some more. Okay? I'm going to give you some more. I'm going to give you some more. I'm going to give you some more. But I want to move around and tell you, the sword 2, verse uh, 4, I'm going to give you 46. I'm going to tell you that the children of Israel are the people of the Most High. Roman Catholic Church, and when they see who the so-called black in there, man, so we can get back to the and end up back part of the world, man. And now our people are in that, in that, in that which really, which really Islam goes all the way back to uh, uh, mostly God worship, because those Arabs have 360 gods for each day of the year, okay? And the Kabbalah system goes back to worship in the few and the same. So that, uh, what they call that, what you call that book? Uh, I don't think that, I think the word is that. Seven lines and shit like that. Yeah. But all of that came out, all of that, that the gods of earth, this gods of earth came out of the Islamic movement with, with uh Farah, uh, not Farah, with uh Elijah Muhammad's son. Okay? So again, you were Israelite, man. So according to the scriptures, the most sides can be dead. So let me get it. Deuteronomy 76. Deuteronomy 76. Yep. It says, for thou art holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God has chosen. So called white man with the son and daughters of Edom, you're better than enough. You are a separate people unto the Lord. Our people are scattered amongst their people. You got Jake's Israelites that look like them, that don't know that they go back to us. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that they're not, but what I am going to tell you is the truth. And so what makes me separate is this law of the commandments. One of the laws that we're supposed to have is that we're supposed to and I worship any other God on earth. But we, we started going on. See, the other thing that's why we started uh, falling from the first time on both sides. Ultimately, we fall totally away, not knowing who we were. Born in a slave, serving Luke. But who does this fit? Deuteronomy 2868. Deuteronomy 2868. It says, Deuteronomy 2868 says this, and the Lord thy and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Egypt, meaning a place of bondage, again, with ships. Then the first Egypt, you can walk from it. It's an 11-day journey on foot, okay? 24, 24 miles a day to, to Israel, right? So you didn't need ships to go there. The, 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 uh, the, the Egypt that we came to was America. America, America is, America is that modern-day Egypt. And it says, with ships, and whereof I spake unto thee, which is our homeland, who was not one and thou shalt see it no more. Which shall I speak unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And there you shall be sold unto your enemies for bond men and bond women, and no man shall rob you. Who did that happen to? The so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. That didn't happen to no other nation. That's still record recorded, okay? And so, again, that was that was what for, uh, for us not listening to the Most High and following His laws and commandments. 
And so because that happened, now the Lord is waking us up to do what? To bring you back to remembrance. Uh, Isaiah 58, 1, cry aloud, spare not, listen to the voice of the trumpet, show my people Jacob their transgressions. So you are Jacob. We are Jacob. We're not the nation of gods and the earth. That's Good all. God. That's off, man. This is the truth. The Bible is written for you. It's a book of laws and commands, first prophets and Moses, history, all throughout the scriptures. It tells you about the history of the Israelites. And that's the law. We're supposed to keep a fear about it. But that's okay. You're in the army, right? You know what I'm saying? So that's why the Lord wanted to get you out of there. If you went in the military, he won't get you out of there. Before it's going to war, you can't tell you about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so we're not going to. I heard it before, but it made me But our spirit is in it, and it's in our mind. And so that's what we have to cover our head with the speech of the prophet's life, because this is our connection to the Lord. So I can feel what you're saying. You know, we kind of did. But so if you in that military, the Lord will bring you out there one way or another. And that's what we come out here to speak to. We put the skin back on you, bro. Because these ladies, they don't want you to be. So far, white man, they don't want
So that's why we get to wake you up and let you know that you are just like you didn't have to try to tell you. But now that's what the Lord's name is the Howard. You know it's the name is the Howard Shot. And if you want to know any more information, bro, I'm out here every weekend, same time, every Saturday, you go on YouTube, you type in the GMS, uh along with the great bills from
Shoot me out with shot. Cause Jake just told you that they that they get that hard fight picture ready in the army. And he heard about it last year, man. Jake said he heard about it last year, man. So hey, bro, man. Hey, it's coming, man. You know, this ain't we, we ain't preaching just to be preaching, man. We we preaching the truth of your house by shooting how shot. We preaching the truth of your house by shooting how shot. This is so true, man. This is so true. And you tell us every day, man. Thank <laughs> you. 